All right, I'm back at the cabin. And uh, if you follow along with this series, you'll know that I've got the siding done above, completely above the loft and down the sides past it. So what I'd like to do today is get this loft completely finished. So get the flooring on, you know, get any trim pieces up. Um, just get it, you know, to where it's usable as a loft, not just a place to store my lumber. Um, one of the things that I did already was I put this back uh, rafter on, or joist, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of, I never know what to use when I'm talking about a loft, because it's both a rafter and a joist, but anyway. And the way I did that was I got myself a straight edge, and I just slapped it up here like this, and scribed a line over on that corner. I did that on both sides, and then I measured the length. It was 88 and 3 quarters of an inch, and I cut it just a sixteenth longer than that, just to make it snug. So that when I put it up there, I could still, I, I needed to hammer it into place, but it would stay on its own. And it made it easy. And then I just uh, took my uh, Simpson Strong Tie um, lags and just bolted it into the stud. And I, so I've got that all nice and secure. Um, so there's nothing holding me back from installing the uh, plywood flooring for the loft. These are trim pieces uh, that I'll use in the corners and the outside corners. All right, I've got everything off of the loft. Well, I got the hammer over there. And uh, I've got the, the plywood flooring. So I'm gonna spread that out and we'll see if by some miracle it actually fits. I have my doubts, but uh, let's check it out and see. All right, looks like I've got about an inch overhang that I'm gonna have to cut off, which isn't that big of a deal. I was kind of expecting it. So let me get that marked, pulled off, cut, and then put back up there.
All right, that edge is pretty rough. I mean, it's plywood. So I've got this outside corner trim that I want to cut and uh, lay across there like that. So let me get the measurement, get it cut and get it installed. All right, a lot of you guys probably know this trick, but uh, when you're measuring two inside, between two inside corners, you always have, uh, you have to take your, your tape and, and bend it on the corner and try to guesstimate what the, uh, what the actual length is. But there's a really easy trick to get the exact measurement and I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, the first thing you want to do is come up with a really easy number to add and uh, I like to use 10. So I'm going to measure 10 inches from this edge put my mark and then all I have to do is measure from that edge to that mark and add 10 to it and I'll know exactly what the uh, distance is Okay, it's 78 and a quarter, so I just add 10 to that, 88 and a quarter. That's what I need to cut my trim to. All right, I don't have a, a brad nailer, so I'm gonna have to use my finish nailer for this. I hope it's not too big. You can see how nice the uh, that trim cleans up that edge. Lots of room up there, plenty of room to sleep. It is a little bit warm, but it does cool off quite a bit at night here. Temperature can drop 30 degrees. So if it's 80, it can be 50 overnight, 90, 60 overnight. So we'll have to see. Plus, I, you know, I've got a portable fan I can throw up there. But uh, the next time I come to the cabin, I will be sleeping here. So uh, I've got some other uh, projects to work on, but I think that's going to do it for this video. So uh, thanks for watching.